Okay, we are, uh, we're started. We got the uh, broadcast being recorded. This will be available in your back office of iClub Biz, uh, in your IBO training section. So you can click on that and you can watch this later. And again, just real quick, I want to introduce myself to you. Uh, my name is Jeff Evers. For those of you who don't know me, uh, I am the EO of iClub Biz. Uh, a little background about me. Uh, I've spent almost 40 years in the industry. Um, was showed network marketing when I was uh, 20 years old, right after Linda and I got married. I got excited about it right away. And um, as, as, as the thing that really intrigued me about network marketing as a business model was that I'm a person. Uh, my dad owned a couple of grocery stores. He owned a Bowen Alley. He owned a farm. He owned a steakhouse. Uh, he owned a department store. He developed real estate. And so growing up with that culture, uh, I understood business. And when they showed me network marketing, I got so excited because it, it, uh, we know in business the biggest challenge we have in business is finding people. And the second challenge is keeping good people. And when I looked at network marketing, I said, this is an amazing concept because we can actually offer people an opportunity to get into something that the sky is the limit, that they can make more money than the person who referred them. And, uh, and just to give you a little background about my previous experience in network marketing company I joined, and I was with the, with them for uh, over 30 years, okay, and made, you know, you know, made well over, you know, a million dollars with them. And so when I when I joined them, I, I, I actually got excited about it. It took me a little while to, to get up to speed with uh, some of the culture and the concepts and, and how to strategize to actually build it, uh, but I actually ended up making a lot more money than my sponsor. And uh, and so with, this is cool. I mean, if, if you think about this, everybody's goal in network marketing is to go off and find somebody they can bring in and then help them make more money than you. The minute you get the concept of network marketing, uh, you will want to go off three, four, five people and help them all make more money than you. And all of a sudden what happens is like Zig Ziglar, uh, when he was alive, I loved what he said. He said, you can get anything in life that you want if you just help enough other people get what they want. And so network marketing was exciting to me. Uh, I got the concept. I, I realized we're setting people up in business for themselves. We're teaching them how to build, you know, a, a distribution system. That, that's really what I see. Um, and today, you know, today, you know, technology has, has advanced so much. Back in when I first got into network marketing, uh, you know, just to show you how uh, I'm 57 years old. But when I got in network marketing, we didn't even have a UPS delivery to the home to get product shipped. We actually had to go down to the uh, the bus uh, uh, depot and pick up our products. It's crazy. So to, today it's so exciting. I mean, actually think about this. I live in Iowa, uh, and I'm doing a broadcast right now from my office. Uh, when I'm done, I'll, I'll, you know, at 7.30, I'll click it on. I'm done. And then I go in the house. I can be with my grandkids, be with my wife. I can have fun. And actually think about this. You can live in Iowa, and you can do business with somebody who lives in, in, in China, and, and because of Google Translator, you can actually be dealing with somebody who speaks Mandarin Chinese. So it's so exciting to be involved in network marketing today. And, um, and, and when we set up iClub Biz, there was a purpose for iClub Biz. Uh, and, and maybe just maybe so you really understand where iClub Biz came from. Uh, my best year in my previous company was 1997. Uh, we made, you know, made a lot of money. I mean, it was well over six figures and, and, you know, my wife was, I was going around the country speaking. Uh, we, you know, we were moving a lot of self-improvement, you know, uh, audios and books to our organization. But every year from 97, 98, 99, 2000, 2001, 2002, every year our income was going backwards. And all of a sudden it hit me, about 2002 became a reality that the, the model that we were building was too archaic. It wasn't keeping up with technology. So in 2002, I started trying to figure out a way to fix my, my previous company. I never had a, I never had a vision or a mission to start my own company. My, my, my vision and mission was always to fix the company I was in. And um, and so I started realizing, you know, in fact, as I looked at all these other network marketing companies that were out there that were growing, and the company I was with was, was stagnant. So I bet you I joined 30, 40 companies. I don't know, spend thousands of dollars to figure out what are these people doing that's making their business work? What are they doing that's causing them to, to have explosive growth? And we were basically going backwards. And I uncovered and discovered a whole lot of things. Um, and I started realizing some things that we needed to tweak and fix in my previous company. And in 2006, I actually launched some technology, very similar to what you see today, a, a streaming video system. Uh, and, I, and I realized, hey, listen, we don't have to do uh, hotel weekly meetings. That's pretty archaic. You know, we should be able to sit back in front of a, a webcam, do a broadcast. People can plug into it. And uh, I, you got to realize, uh, back in 2002, 2003, 4, and 5, Monday I'd be in mid 
Minneapolis. Tuesday, I'd be in Green Bay. Uh, uh, Wednesday, I'd be in Chicago. Thursday, I'd be in Kansas City. I was always on the road. What? Why? Because I had to. I had to take what I was doing. I had to take me to the people. And uh, and, and and people ask, you know, how many people in your in your company did you help make you know a million dollars? Well, none. And, and the reason is nobody I was doing. And all of a sudden, I started realizing, boy, if I could replicate what I'm doing, if, if, if I could just take, you know, 20, 30 minutes a week and do one broadcast and have it touch millions of people, all of a sudden, everybody would want to do what I'm doing, and I could create a, 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 I could create an army of people who want to become wealthy. And so we actually kicked this off in 2007 with my pre company, and my existing IBOs got excited about it. They were fired up because they seen it. They said, man, this is awesome. And then February 23rd, I was served with a cease and desist order from the company I was with. Now, unbeknownst to me, because of the level that I was at with that company, they didn't allow me to participate in any other income program that had a marketing foundation. Even though, and I had an income tat- attached to the technology, uh, even though that technology was, wasn't a conflict of interest with their products, they said I couldn't do both. So I had to make a decision. Do I keep on doing what I was doing, riding this horse that was dying, or do I give up, you know, on that business and focus on what I want to do? So... I ended up contacting my attorney, trying to put my business into a trust fund, and the attorney said, yeah, you can do it, but they're going to tie you up for five years, so you're not going to be able to do anything else for five years. And so I made the decision that I was just going to terminate my uh, my, my distributorship with that company, the one I've been building for 30 years, and, and start my own company. And in September of 2000, and we launched a company called Extreme Savings, a uh, real simple program. In fact, is you'll notice that the travel club that we market is called the Extreme Savings Travel Club. Um, that was uh, it, that was part of that uh, you know initial culture that we came up with. We sold a real simple membership. It was 25 bucks a month, and I went off and contract with manufacturers and formulators and vendors, and then I basically had a wholesale pricing. Uh, we, I wasn't really happy with the uh, the comp plan we put together really wasn't happy with the value proposition we did put 2000 people in within about 20 days which to me was amazing okay because of my previous company when it was you know when it was belly to belly okay it took me probably 10 years to put 2000 people in all this through technology we put 2000 people in, in in 3 weeks and uh, after about maybe 3 4 months just wasn't happy with what we were bringing to the marketplace so I stopped charging everybody 25 bucks a month Told them I'm going to go in and fix it. I'm going to I'm, I'm going to tweak everything, get everything figured out. Stop stop charging uh, people. We then launched a company, Aqualite. Okay, and, and again, uh, I was probably listening to the wrong people. We actually launched a a, a force matrix, and uh, really wasn't happy with the force matrix uh, because it basically it tried to bring people in who want to get something for nothing. It was it was bringing people in who who had a lottery mentality, not a worker mentality. And, well, we've, again, we put a lot of people in Aqualite, and, uh, and, and people, in fact, is I still have people today buying Aqualite that started buying the products back in 2008 when we kicked off Aqualite. And, uh, and of course, Ionite was part of that, uh, that, that company as well. And for those of you who are on the live broadcast, you can see the Ionite. Um, but, again, I wasn't happy with the force matrix, and I knew that I wanted to create something that created a culture of uh, ownership, leadership, and and, and, um, and I want to empower people to become great. I didn't want to have people coming in that were dependent and, and mandating that someone else was going to help them become successful. I wanted to create this culture that people want to come in and build it, and be part of something great. And so I, I, I basically looked at every every comp plan that was out there, whether it be an up system, you know, whether it be a, a you know a uni level, what you know what what you know all the different programs. And what I decided, the best program that, that creates a culture of team building and ownership was was a was a team building called a binary. Now some people don't like binaries. You know why they don't like them? Uh, some people tell you, well, I don't like a binary because the company makes all the money. Okay, you know, when somebody tells you that they don't really have a good concept of, uh, of what a true binary is, that you, uh, because uh, the company's first got to make a profit, number one. Okay, so who cares that the company makes a profit? But the the, the, the the people that really don't like the binary ones who aren't really willing to build two legs. What people who want a binary to, to work for them, they want somebody to go ahead and build the one leg, and all they want to do is build the second leg, and they don't think it's fair if they got to build both legs. See, my attitude was, I want to build both legs because I want to create this. I want to, I want to build two legs and teach everybody how to build two legs. And when I teach, uh, uh, we call the triple braided cord concept, and we teach people how to build two strong legs that got three leaders in each of your strong legs, and they're duplicating you. They're each building two strong legs. Then you can create a business that self-generates. And I love the binary because. 
make a difference how deep that, that uh, newbie gets in who's the rock star, you benefit from their volume. And so it's a, it's a, uh, the, 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 the concept of building a binary fired me up. And so then what I wanted to do is I had to come up with a product that was going to be unique that, that, that we could uh, basically revolutionize the industry. The travel club came from. I went down to uh, uh, Orlando, I bought a travel agency, uh, spent 25,000 bucks. Long story short, it was dumb. It was stupid. We ended up putting a call center in, in, um, in Tampa. It cost me hundreds of thousands of dollars. Uh, and, and I found out what happened again, listening to you know, a guy who was an expert, was really an expert that was an expert at taking my money. Okay. And, uh, so what happened was I ended up, you know, getting out of that travel agency in Orlando, getting out of the call center in Tampa, licking my wounds and, and, and came back to Iowa, set up my own travel agency. So now we got a registered seller travel in Iowa, Sunset Beach Travel. And, and we contract a travel agent. Uh, and, and it's so cool when you look at our travel club. In fact, uh, 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 it's so simple. When, when you see the value proposition we bring, uh, that everybody who sees this will get in our club. The other clubs that are out there in travel, or they, they, you know, some of them, you know, in fact, if, if you've been to a hotel room where they're pitching you the travel, you know, they come up, they got this dog. No, they're showing you these all these islands and these and these you know um, getaways and the, these short-term condo deals. Uh, then you got to you want to pay two thousand, three thousand to join, uh, or there's other company out there that costs you two hundred, three hundred sixty-five bucks to get in the sixty-five bucks a month. Here's what we wanted to do: we wanted to price a travel club, a program that everybody could afford. That once people see it, they say, my gosh, why wouldn't you do this? And so what we did is we, we sell you a one-month membership in the travel club for 25 bucks. Uh, but for every month you buy, we'll give you three more for free. So you get four months for 25 bucks. And the reason we structured it that way was because we knew the average family only takes one vacation a year. They spend about three to 4000 on their vacation. They average that we make as a travel agency on a reservation is about 10%. So if they spend three grand, we make 300 bucks. Now what I do, I give half of that commission to the travel agent. The travel agents love us. Why? Because they love to book travel. They love to, to get involved in the travel booking. They don't like to have to go off and find customers. So I basically bring them the customers, they book the travel, they make 50% commission. The other 50% of the commission, we give back to the travel club member. I don't make a dime on the travel. I look at the travel club. I look at Extreme Savings Travel as a, uh, as a sizzle. I look at that, man, this is something everybody needs to join to get this club. And so, so. $5 program is very simple. It's cool. Travel agents love it. Uh, you know, you'll save money. Uh, we got a contract with Expedia. So if you want to book online and you book through our booking engine online, uh, we get 11% commission from Expedia. So you can book a hotel room. It's a hundred bucks. We get $11 commission. You know, you get $5 and 50 cents back. And, uh, so, so we kicked off that club. We launched it. And, uh, and then what happened in 2000, end of 2012, we brought Aqualite. We brought Ionite and we brought the Extreme, Extreme Savings Travel Club together and we launched iClub Biz. Now, uh, it, we had to tweak it, we had to massage it, we had to kind of do a lot of, uh, I, I tell people when you get involved in a formula age of a company, you gotta realize we're formulating. And most people don't make it through the formulation stage because they got a, they got a mentality where they want to get rich quick. They want to get rich overnight. They don't want to have to be involved in, in any changes. And, and so during the formulation stage, you're formulated. We try stuff that doesn't, you know, works. Yeah, this works. No, that this works. No, that doesn't work. And then what happens is eventually you come up with the right mixture. And then you go into concentration, which is where we're in right now. And that's where we're bringing in some additional products. We brought the fat burning signals in, just an awesome product that can help people lose weight. We brought the Miracle Facelift Mask, an awesome skincare product. We brought an EFM product. And we'll keep bringing in more and more products. And we got some digital products that are cool too. Uh, and, and then so what happens, we had to, we put together this great binary. It's a, a simple, uh, uh, $25 program. It's, you know, to, you know, all you gotta do is spend 25 bucks a month, you're activated. And then we also realize that the, there's a lot of people out there that struggle, uh, uh, in network marketing because they've already gone through their family, they've gone through their friends, uh, they've gone through their coworkers, they got nobody to talk to, they don't, they don't know where they're gonna get their people. So we came up with a crazy idea. Uh, about it. what if we could structure something that could help people generate traffic? And again, during formulation, you try a lot of stuff that didn't work, but all of a sudden we something that worked. And what we did, we took the travel club, which by the way, if you're going to go off and you were going to really look at the value of this travel club, it'd be well worth over $300. Okay. When you really look at what you're getting, you're going to you get the ability to book any reservation you want and, and, and whatever commissions, in fact, Texas, we don't mark it up a dime. So whatever, 
if the agency gets as a rate you pay, so you could travel agency rates plus any commission, we rebate 50% of that back to you. Uh, anybody who travels, you could, you'll, you will realize it's well worth $300. So what we decided to do is say, well, what, what if we could put together an offer that is so appealing that everyone would say yes? So here's what we decided to do. We will go ahead and get you a one-year membership to the Travel Club for six bucks. So now all of a sudden, here's what happens. We've got a, we've got a, uh, uh, we've got an offer that's got, that's, that's very appealing. That's a low threshold. And then we tied it together with, with our business. So here, here's what we said. Hey, what if we do this? We put together a marketing presentation that says, hey, listen, are you t- sick and tired of going off and joining the company, getting all, you know, all excited about the products? And then you find out it costs 40 bucks, you know, to, for you get your, your, your distributor fee for the year. And then you got to go off and you got to spend three, four hundred dollars on the fast start and then a hundred, you know, bucks a month on the auto ship. And all of a sudden, maybe about three months, two months in, says, man, I wish I didn't, I wish I wouldn't have done it. How would you like to join something? We'll give you 90 days to activate. You get 90 days. You don't have to spend the dime on, on a on a fast start. You don't need to spend any money on a uh, on a monthly auto ship. You can just you know take it for a test drive for 90 days, kick the tires, and on top of that, we'll give you 90 days, and we'll give you a a $300 travel club for six bucks. So now what happens is people pop in, they join for six bucks. Now they go into your back office. Now here's the, here's the, here's the dynamics of this. Um, I spent twenty five hundred dollars buying leads, okay, and I gave them to my leaders, and I said these are these are these are the triple quadruple the best of the best leads. These are the people who said yes, I want a home based business. Spent twenty five hundred dollars. You know how many uh, IBOs we actually sponsored out of that twenty five hundred bucks? We sponsored seven. As we found out, a lot of these people who were on the list, they really weren't looking for a business. They, they clicked an ad on a, on a, on a, some sort of a web page that says, click here to get a free iPad. And, and then after they didn't realize they had to click out of some stuff and the stuff they didn't click out of was the stuff says, hey, I'm looking for a business on home, a, a business I can run out of home. So we realized, man, it, it was, it was painful. You, you got to call people. How would you like to never have to call anybody who's not already in? How would you like to, I mean, this person who's for this, they've already uh, they've already shared with you, and they showed you they got a predisposition to spend money. How would you like everybody picked a phone up and say, "Hey, Jerry, glad to have you on board. I'm Jeff. I see you just purchased a travel club for six bucks. I just got a question. You know, why'd you pull the trigger? Were you just interested in you know getting some good deals on travel, or you maybe looking maybe make some money and, and put a bit? Then I let them tell me what what they want, and I help them build a business. Well, then we took that concept and. Right now we're building a, a funnel, so you lead in with the six dollars automatically. When the, as soon as they you know spend the six bucks, it's going to take them to another. It, right now it does take them to another page where we we uh, we say, hey, listen, your next thing you want to do is activate. And why do you want to activate? Because you're an active member. Okay, uh, anybody who purchases that six dollar offer that's come from your website, if you're an active member, you get three dollars on each one of them. Okay. Not only that, but if they purchase a, a, a starter pack of Ionite, they purchase a starter pack of Aqualite, the fast start money that's paid out on that goes to the active member. So it makes sense you want to be an active member. Plus, if you're an active member, you uh, you know you also accumulate volume that gets paid in, that's get allocated to your teams. You get paid your cycle bonuses on. So we create an incentive to go ahead and activate right away. And so it, and you can activate for as low as twenty five bucks. We did have some uh, some specials that if you bought. The maintenance pack, which is, you know, two packs of light, one bottle of the ionite, we could save you 10 bucks. Uh, and, and again, there's $20 with a fast start that's paid out. Uh, and so we, we, you know, we created incentives to have some bigger packages. And then here's what happened. Okay. Remember, this is, this, when you deal with entrepreneurs, you start to think like an entrepreneur. So I got one of my guys gets me on the phone with a guy who's probably got, you know, a network marketing program, uh, 30,000 people. And he says, man, I love that whole concept about, exposing your uh, your business to people who've already exhibited a predisposition to spend money. I love it. And he says that $6 offer in that travel club, man, he said, that's that's a no-brainer. He said, the only problem I got is, you know, I've already got a company that I'm building. And um, and, and so, I, you know, to bring in an, another monthly $25 auto ship, uh, that might be too much for him. So here's what we did. We we have decided that we will uh, we will now allow you to activate your position for just twelve dollars and fifty cents a month. Obviously, if you want the Aqualite, the Ionite, you get you, you got to spend twenty five bucks a month. If you want the fat burning signal, it's forty seven fifty. If you want the uh, magical face mask, it's thirty you know thirty five or yeah thirty five bucks. If you want the EMF Protect, it's thirty uh, thirty thirty five bucks. But if you want to if you want to purchase the capture page system for twelve fifty, you want to purchase the cash flow. 
system for twelve fifty, it will now activate you. And all of a sudden, you, you, uh, the, 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 the leaderships that we were talking to, the, the, the people who are part of this group of 30,000 people, they said, Man, this is awesome. That cash flow manager, everybody needs it anyways. That capture page that allows them to you know, c- capture the information for 1250, your webinar system for 1250. So they think about this. You, you, you got you got a group of consumers out there, and who are the consumers? Consumers are consumers. Consumers uh, make their buying decision based upon consumer needs, price, quality, service, convenience, and selection. These are the people who like our products. So when they go off and they purchase the I and I for twenty five bucks, if they again, if you got a consumer, send them to your Shop ICB website, and when they purchase that twenty five dollar product, you make thirty percent commission. When they go off and they purchase uh, the fat burning signals for forty seven fifty, have them go to your shop ICB site and purchase it for forty seven fifty. You make thirty percent commission. So when you talk to consumers, those are the ones you want to send to your ICB. Well, then for the people who are looking for an opportunity, those are the ones you send to your six dollar funnel. But here's what's cool: how many people do you know right now who are in another network marketing company who are desperately looking for some tools that can help them increase their efficiency? That are looking for some tools that can help create qualified prospects that have a, that have already exhibited a position to spend money. Well, go ahead and show them the six dollar funnel that's got automatically the the the, the, the 1250 upgrade for the active position, and all of a sudden here's what happens. You could instant could you imagine what would happen if you make a phone call or you talk to somebody or you know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody, and all of a sudden they can bring in ten thousand people. Guys, every time there's 75 BV in your left leg and 75 BV in your right leg, you make 1250 every time through unlimited levels up to a max of 12,000 bucks a week based on your rank. What if you know somebody who knows somebody or contacts somebody or somebody goes to your website or maybe they go to your blog and they go on one of the banner ads that you got on the left and they see that $6 offer and that person just happens to be part of an organization of 20, 30,000 people. What if you get one of those in your left leg and one of those in your right leg? Gang, I hope you can see the potential that we have. So what do you do? Well, the first thing that you're going to want to do is that you want to partner up with somebody. Okay? Uh, I, I did a post on my blog, and I said, here's one of the biggest challenges that we have in this industry. Most people think they know how to become success, successful in this industry, and they don't know. To do it all over again, if I could start over today knowing everything that I don't know, here's the first thing I would do. I would go ahead and I would get my communication lines in. I would know who do I want to get from and who do I want to get information to. That's the first thing. Get your communication lines in because without your communication lines in, you cannot exist. You don't surprise people. You don't wake up overnight and say, oh, yeah, here's, here's, here's my, here's my million dollar earner. Nope, you first got to get your communication lines in so you can exist. And as soon as you get your communication, in. The next thing is you got to make it known to everybody that you're in this with an attitude and an understanding that you're going to uncover and discover what is needed and wanted. Here's the mistake that most of us make. We're afraid to go talk to everybody until we know what to do. And that is crazy thinking because you don't know what you don't know. And the way you know what you don't know is to do. So you got to first do so you can discover what you don't know. And then after you discover what you don't know, then you strategize with the, your, 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 your leadership team. You strategize with your business support team to put together that which you've discovered. And then you go off and produce. And then all of a sudden, here's what happens. The, produce, the production starts to grow and grow because it's got a right foundation. I find too many people will do this. They'll go off and they'll try to tell people, you just get in, I'll do all the work. Well, you know what? Um, in, in fact, as I, I, tell, I told some guys, I said, that's like saying you, you get in and, and I'll give you all the fish, but then you got to give them fish for the rest of your life. And, they, and, and one guy wanted to teach them how to fish. I said, you know what? I'm even beyond that. I, I don't even want to teach you how to fish. You know what I want to do is I want to let you know the bait shop is open. They got videos on that in the bait shop that can teach you how to fish. The lake is open. Go to the go, go to that bait shop, learn how to fish, and go fish and feed yourself. I want to empower you to become successful. Do that. Number one, get your com lines in. Number two, make it known with an understanding to uncover and discover what's needed and wanted, and then prepare to deliver that that which you discovered, and then go produce. And the minute you do that, in step by step by step, you start to see your business grow. You start to see, man, this is exciting. This is this is so cool. You, you are stopped creating a, 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 an organization of dependent people, and you are creating an environment of empowered people. You're creating, a, you're creating a, uh, an atmosphere that people want to be part of. And all, but why do they want to be part of it? Because it's their business. Because they built it. They own it. They know it. And then what they want to do is they want to teach it. How do you teach it? 
need to teach it. Say the bait shop is open. They got videos. The lake is open. It's full of fish. Go to the bait shop. Figure out how to fish. Go fish. Feed your family. And then let's you and I go have some fun. See, what happens is in, in this industry, there's too many, pe- too many people spending too much time trying to fix people. Okay? What we really got to do is stay focused on our dream. We got to figure out what we want to have. We got to roll our sleeves up and realize we got to change us because when you become who you need to become, then you'll get what you want. You'll never get what you want until you first change who you are, become who you need to become. Everything you do today has got you to where you're at. So unless you first change and have an understanding you have to change, you'll never create more than work. You always keep recreating the same crap over and over and over. It doesn't make a difference. I had one guy says, well, I've been in four or five different network marketing companies, been in for 15, 20 years, and never made a dime. I said, the problem is the guy that got in it 15 years ago, the guy that's been in four or five different companies, this is the same guy who, who's, who's talking to me right now. If you want to change your life, you've got to change your life. How do you do it? Get your communication lines in. Then make it known with, an un- with a purpose to uncover and discover, and then prepare to deliver that which you discovered, and then go produce. It's that simple. People could, you could, in fact, I, I could get into the, uh, some of the strategies that we put together. I used to own a company. We would teach people these things. In fact, is when Charlie and I would go off and we would do the sales training, the, the sales training that, that, we, that we give you, that we make available, you know, through our team members for free, we would charge companies thousands of dollars. In fact, is Charlie would charge 12000 bucks to do the President's Club, uh, uh, you know, with this platform, okay? Uh, and I don't want to get off too far off into bungees, uh, but but that's how simple our program is. Just are you a con- if if you got consumers, don't show them the business, okay? Okay, show, send them the shop ICB, let them buy products, make thirty percent commission. Okay, if you got a guy that wants to make some money, send him to your offer, let him purchase the six dollars. Fact is, I had one guy. He 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 uh, 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 he was on my blog. He went to the six dollar offer. He didn't buy. He 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 Facebooks me and says, Hey, let's talk. I said, Hey dude, spend the six bucks and we'll talk. He says, Well, you know, I don't know if I like to travel. I said, I don't think you understand. I do not spend my time talking to someone who doesn't have a predisposition to spend six bucks. Period. Period. He goes, Well, what if I what if I'm a hot rod? I said, Well, the first thing you'll realize, you can never become a hot rod if you spend your time on people who don't produce. And, and, and he said, well, I just, you know, I like to talk to somebody before I get involved. I said, well, you know what? I like people to uh, present to me. They got a disposition to build before I spend time talking with them. Now, I, I have to agree that if I was brand new and I hadn't sponsored anybody and I, did, and I had all this time on my hand, I might have picked up the phone and called them, but I don't have time. In fact, as I told some guys, you know, it's like I'm, uh, uh, God didn't equip me to the nurse and I get paid too much to babysit, so I'm looking for people who, are, who got something in their heart that doing what they're doing. They're willing to make the changes in their life to become who they need to become so they can get their dreams. And if that's you, if that's the person that, that, that is on this webinar, then here's what, I, here's what I'm going to recommend you do. Get your communication lines in. Find out who, who in your line of sponsorship, that who you need to get information from. Who in your line of sponsorship do you need to get information to? And then Make it known to everybody that you're in this with an understanding and a purpose to discover, uncover and discover what's needed and wanted. And then prepare to deliver that which you discovered and then produce. That's how this game is played. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording right now.